Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we have Ken Nagel, so another fantastic Ken Nagel collection car. Ken, what did we bring today? Well, we have a 56 Ford Sunliner, and it uh, comes with a 292 cubic inch engine, 202 horsepower, and a three-speed overdrive transmission nice. with Kelsey Hayes wheels, wire wheels. Let's take a look at this one. And the okay. thing that's striking about this car is, well, the color combination is somewhat unmistakable. We'll have you take a look at that. And as we get a little closer, some of the features, we have the Fairlane with the Ford Crest, this wonderful hood ornament, which this actually looks like it might be open. So letting maybe a little air in there. Mm -hmm. yep. And I just want to show you the chrome that starts on the headlight and works its way all the way to the back. And let me just show this wonderful sculpting on the turn signals and all of the points on the front of that car. Headlights, hood, bumpers, bumperettes and parking lights and as I come to the side I don't want to miss that special Thunderbird emblem which just blazes off the side of this car. Ken tell me a little bit about the design of this car. Well the reason I, I really like the car is because of the, the design on it. I like the sweeping look to it and so many of the 50s cars uh, were that way of course but I, I think this one here is at the top of the rung when it comes to the the way it sweeps to the back. Uh, this car is different than the, than the 55 Ford. Uh, I, this one here I think is tweaked up a little bit, a little more chrome, and it just the sleekness to it. And again, the colors are, are just uh, phenomenal with it in, in my mind. And of course, the Kelsey Hayes wire wheels set it off. So, so here's those wheels. I'm gonna do us just a little bit of a favor by giving you the logo in the top direction. So this car is chrome-tastic. Now that's quite the little light because you can see the mirror is almost a separate nodule on the back of it. Shift the light here. The wraparound windshield. I like how they position the sunliner there in the door, really making it stand out rather than the fender or possibly the quarter. Even the handle has some little... With the fingernail guard. Mm -hmm. Fingernail guard and right. ribbing in there. Right. The key is designed to be hidden in the black cloth top. Right. It's just, it, it just riches the car up. Riches it up. It riches it up, exactly. We have our skirts. Mm -hmm. And then how they put this little black kind of rocket ending to it. And even that nice piece of red stands out so well on that overall antenna. We have some wonderful tips and fins on this. I'll feature each one of them. We have the Continental Kit. And while we're here, we'll open the trunk. So here's the trunk on this one. So right off the bat, you have this I'll call it a lever, lever, that allows you, you see, to pull that out. Fold it up. Yeah. Fold it. This is unique because it folds down into the, into the carrier rather than the others that fold out, pull out this way. So, so that gives it its uniqueness. Uniqueness on the, on the carrier. Uh -huh. And then, just like it was in the showroom, the trunk on this one. Really quite the nice material. I'll try to zoom in on that a little. Like a hound's tooth. And you can see all of the pageantry on this one. Just like that. And once we've closed the trunk, I just wanted to make sure 
before we put that back in place is this wonderful Fairlane emblem that I didn't think you'd want to miss. And of course that's where our gas gets filled in. And we're back. Let me just show you. You did the trunk room. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you that emblem right there. And how that sets it up. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Thank you. So as we open this up, simple black and white with elegant chrome, like a tuxedo. You have your Ford information there. And notice you have the three pedals here. You're, you're steering. Let me show that seat for a moment. And the cool thing about the seat, go ahead, Ken. Show that. This here is a trunk release for the trunk. You can release it here if you don't have a key. You, you pull this up and it releases the trunk to right? open the trunk. So standard today, but so yeah, unique yeah, for yeah. 56. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. I want to show this right here, showing you the different seats. But look at the back seat as we have our crest in the middle the zip away back window you see that zipper there or if you want to look at it a different way see the zipper there that zips around the window we get all of our hardware for the top let me take you inside our steering wheel, our keys, I like the pod, it definitely gives you this overall circled look like that, and it lets you come in here, the easy gauges, understand this whole heating system up here you have your mirror and this was nice the select air conditioning the air has got to be unique on a convertible at this time frame you have your tuning a nice Ford script right there the Ford with the long D going to a V8. Try to get that a little better for you. There you go. You can hear my just moving around on the seat, the quality of the seat. Is this leather? Feels like it. And then another mirror there. Let's take a uh, look under the hood, shall we? Okay. One thing I do want to show on the other side of the seat, which is unique. So when you come to this side of the car, and you open this seat, there was a little interesting piece I saw. It said Ford Crestmark body. I thought that was very, very cool for that. All right, let's uh, open the hood. First of all, you can see you're going to have to be careful getting under that hood because... Yes, uh, right. It doesn't go can, up very high. Yeah. And you can see this piece right here basically covering any type of dust coming into the engine. You have your air conditioning unit there. Your Thunderbird V8.
Take a moment. Ken, what uh, the thing that makes her a little curious is the single cylinder for the master cylinder. Yeah, right. So no problem getting there with the Thunderbird Eight. Yeah. What uh, what made you uh, pick this one up? Uh, again, I like the design of it, uh, the, and the, the color combinations in those days were, were just unique and just beautiful, and uh, that's really it. Uh, you know, I just like what I, what the car, what, what it was. You like what you like. <laughs> I Let's, like what I like. I like yeah. what I like. Let's fire it up, shall we? Okay. We'll let it idle. We'll give it a uh, rev. We'll step on the brakes. Step on the brakes for just a moment, would you? So there's the brakes. Okay, we can take our foot off the brakes. Now, even though it looks like it's coming out here, it's actually coming out. Can't give it a rev, would you? Oh, it is coming out there. Sounds powerful. That's got a nice rumble. That's got a nice rumble. Ken, let's uh, let's take it for a ride. Okay, let's go. So I'm here with Ken Nagel, and we're shifting through the gears in the Sunliner. You can see the pedals and the stick the column there you go that's how that works that's how that works and it works and it works yeah that's important right so you can see we're on a perfect day here driving out in the country how's it feel feels good yeah right it's running well and uh it has a nice ride to it so yeah. when you when you take this one out to a car show what's the reaction well i think they they are they they really fall in love with the First thing is the color of the car. Yeah. The raven black with the coral. Uh, it just, it's an eye popper. It just uh, catches your eye. Yeah. There's so, no question. It's just not another red and black car or whatever else. And uh, so it's a little different. Yes. That's the first thing. And then just the overall quality again of the workmanship on it, etc. So uh, it works. Uh, like a brand new car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I enjoy watching the pattern on the column there. Because you don't see that very often. I mean, we're just trying to think. That might have ended in the 50s. That's I don't know if that a, was... That's a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah I don't know if that no was still in the 60s it. was yeah. the uh, yeah. the column shift. Yeah. But uh, a wonderful cruise. We'll just let you enjoy some of this ride with you. We'll let this take your blood pressure down a few notches. our stop sign I just want to say as usual such a treat to be with you I love sharing your cars with the globe some of the best cars you have and uh, it's just a treat thanks for being on my car story well, well thank you thank you for inviting me